Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Natasha. If it is your first time here, today's video I have the full Raw Beauty Christie ColourPop at Forest Sight collection sitting in front of me. I got everything in the collection, so we're going to be unboxing and playing around with this. If you're interested, just keep watching. Okay, so I picked up the entire collection. I actually was so excited about this for a couple different reasons. One, I love Robbie D. Christie. She's here on YouTube. If you don't know who she is, you should definitely follow her if you're interested in makeup or the Pacific Northwest or really just like anything. She has a really good personality. She has her main channel, which she does makeup reviews and makeup tutorials. And then she has a secondary channel with her husband where they kind of just, you know, garden, cook, they're remodeling their house currently, just live in their life. I really love her. She is a Pacific Northwestern person and so am I. I also live in the Pacific Northwest. So this collection really spoke to me. She said that she based this whole collection off of that. So let's go ahead and start getting into it. In this collection, we have one eyeshadow palette. And firstly, the packaging on all of this is just ridiculous. It is so so beautiful. I love it. It says ask for a site here and it has all of the mushrooms and like a very beautiful like watercolor tree look to it and all the packaging is very similar. So we have three of the cream gel liners here and you have the same mushrooms kind of watercolor looking packaging. You have two Lux glosses from ColourPop which I don't know if I've actually tried one of the Lux glosses before. So we have both of the glosses here and then it comes with four super shock shadows, which the super shock shadow to me is ColourPop's best product that they make. Let me grab these real quick for you. Just so you can see the carton that all of this comes in is so beautiful. So cute. I love the little mushrooms. It's very like woodland, Peter Rabbit, Winnie the Pooh vibes. I feel like, like it is very just like whimsical, mystical, happy forest. Love that. So let's go ahead and just start opening stuff and looking at it. I just quickly wanted to show you the outer packaging. I did do a full unboxing of this on my Instagram stories. I usually do unboxings of all the products I get on my IG before I film with it. So if you're ever interested in that, head on over to my IG, follow me on there. So opened up out of the packaging here. Here we have the eyeshadow palette. So beautiful. The same similar design on the outside of this as there is on the Unicarton box. And on the back here, you have all the eyeshadow names and, you know, the mushrooms and everything. So let's go ahead and open her up. Very, very pretty. Um, I do wish there was a mirror. I feel like I say that with a lot of eyeshadow palettes. Now, I did watch her video and she did say that she wanted to make a palette that was fully recyclable. So I don't know if mirrors necessarily can be recycled or how difficult that is. So I believe she didn't put a mirror in it for that reason which is okay. I have plenty of mirrors, plenty of eyeshadow palettes, but just keep that in mind when you look at this guy. So pretty. And then we have just a very gorgeous color story here. So on this side here, you have uh, some plums and a lot warmer colors. You have a sparkly black down here. And then on this side, you have the greens and the yellows. This palette is mainly matte shades. You do get two shimmery metallics in there. Super pretty. And then you can see the names underneath each of the shadows on here. And then we have the three cream gel liners. Now, I'm not a huge eyeliner person myself. I tend to not wear eyeliner very often, but I will say ColourPop does make some really, really nice eyeliners. They're super creamy, super pigmented, and ColourPop just has a lot of really fun colors. So we have three different ones here. We have this one. Let's just open them all up real quick. I tried to, on my IG when I was unboxing everything, I was like, unbox taking everything out of the container so carefully because I didn't want to rip the boxes. Okay, so we have the three cream gel liners here. And one thing I thought was so cute about these is that you can see here on the cap, there is mushrooms. So cute. Okay, so we have three shades. We have this emerald greeny. I will swatch these on my hand for you. It's like an emerald foresty dark green and this is in the shade spare time and it's spelt time like the herb very pretty very creamy then we have this very pretty kind of golden roddy yellow and this is in the shade marigold 
pretty. I love a good yellow liner. And then we have this warm chocolatey brown, and this is in the shade Woodsy. So creamy. Cute. I think those are really good complementary colors of liners for the collection. We have the two Luxe glosses. And this one here is in the shade Wildflower. Super, super cute packaging on this one as well. On the tops of the glosses, you see that there is the little mushroom doodles. So this one in the shade Wildflower, like I said, and this is like a really nice neutrally baby pink with a little bit of gold shimmer in there. It's not really picking up on camera, but it is in there. And then we have the shade Glacier. Ooh, and this one is a sparkly, neutrally champagne color. There is like gold. You can kind of see a little bit more of the sparkly in there. Gold and silver sparkles. Okay. And then lastly, we have the four Super Shock Shadows. So let me get these guys open. Super, super cute packaging. I mean, ColourPop really knocked out of the park with this packaging. And like I was saying, I haven't been excited for a ColourPop release in a while. They put out so much stuff so often. Like I swear they have a new release each week and it's starting to get a little repetitive. Like the color stories and the palettes, like nothing has really like intrigued me, really sparked my interest. And this guy right here really did. I can never get these boxes open. I'm just destroy this one. <laughs> okay, so on each of the Super Shock shadows here on the lid, you can see there is a little mushroom that's so cute. This one here is in the shade Campfire, and this is a, a sparkly, coppery, really, really pretty, shimmery shade. I love this shade. This is a shade I can see myself wearing all the time. If you haven't tried the ColourPop Super Shock formula. They make it in highlights, in blushes, and in eyeshadows. I will say it time and time again. My opinion, best product that ColourPop has. They are just so beautiful. They're so creamy. They're so easy to work with, and they have such amazing color payoff. They have neon colors. They have more neutrally sparkly colors like this, and they're just so beautiful. So let's move on to the next one here. We have the shade Olympic, which is to me more of a taupey man you can really see how reflective this one is it's a very taupey a little bit more on the neutral side lid shade this reminds me a lot of like new year's so pretty we have the shade mycelium which i believe is has to do with like the cell structure of mushrooms i'm not 100 on that but this one here is a really pretty light champagne gold, super reflective. I mean, you can tell just how the light is shining off of it. So pretty. And then lastly, this one is my favorite one so far. I haven't tried it, but just based on the coloring, this is called Like a Moss. And this is like a true green gold reflective shade it kind of changes you can see based on how the light is hitting it from like an olivey gold to a true gold so pretty so that is everything in the collection i bought it all together in a bundle let me look up a couple of things here because it is currently out of stock but i know that they are doing a restock i believe the restock is december 11th but let me just double check that. So the full collection set was $87. And again, you get one eyeshadow palette, two lip glosses, three eyeliners, and four super shock shadows. So it is a little bit spendy, but I do think that normally the quality and the performance of ColourPop products are definitely worth that. So if you're interested in this collection, I would definitely pick it up, but you can also buy everything individually. Now, it looks here like this does come back into stock on December 11th on the ColourPop website. So if you're interested in that, I would just follow ColourPop or follow Rob Beauty Christie because I'm sure they're going to be posting about it on Instagram. And that's that. So let's just jump into doing some makeup. I'm actually pretty excited to play with this today. What I think I'm going to do is I want to use the green here in the palette. I'm really, really intrigued by this shade right here. What is this called? Fiddlehead. Yeah, I just think that this shade is so pretty. God, my camera's having serious focusing issues lately. 
I just think that this shade right here is so pretty and I'm also really interested in this shade right above it here in evergreen. It's just a really pretty metallic -y shade. So what I want to do here is I want to take some of this eye tape that I love from e.l.f. Angle it up and then do kind of like a bold green angular smokiness. You know, kind of the style of look I love to do. So let's go ahead and put this tape on. I've said this a million times that this tape from e.l.f. is everything it is so affordable it's so gentle on the skin and when I say it's so gentle on the skin I really mean it like I'm allergic to adhesive so like even just like a regular band-aid will rip my skin like every time I've ever put a band-aid on my skin the band-aid does worse than the actual thing I'm using the band-aid for <laughs> and this never seems to irritate my skin and that's pretty great because I do have super sensitive skin to adhesives. So if you have that issue as well, I definitely, definitely recommend this tape. How do you think my angles are? Yeah, that's good. I think that's good. Okay. So what I'm going to do first here is I'm going to take, I'm going to take this shade right here in Fiddlehead and I'm going to take that on this morphe packing brush this is the m434 and i'm going to pack that all over my lid and start building up the shape that i want now i have used so many ColourPop palettes and ColourPop really has their eyeshadow formula down i tend to never have issues with ColourPop eyeshadows now greens are a little bit harder of a color to formulate just because i don't know but i do notice that a lot of brands struggle with making greens that are pigmented, that aren't patchy, that don't pull like super gray or super yellow. So I am intrigued to see how this green performs. So far, just putting it on the lid, it is pretty pigmented. It does have a nice coloration to it. Ryan Little. <laughs> I'm actually going to go in with a smaller, stiffer brush. This is from Moda. I'm not sure what this brush is called, but it is just a shorter, stiffer packing brush. And I'm gonna use that to help kind of sharpen the shape I wanna do. Mainly here in the front area because it is a little bit harder to get in here. And then also I'm gonna use this to kind of pack on to the lash line. I don't know about you, but my lash line tends to not want to hold as much color as the rest of my eyelid. Okay, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this Real Techniques shading brush and I'm going to go into this top shade here in Puffball. It's a really nice deeper brown terracotta -y shade. And I'm just going to lightly start adding that to the edges here. Now that is getting just a tiny bit patchy right in this area as I'm trying to blend those two shades out into each other. So I am really lightly packing on just a tiny bit more green, very lightly blending it out. You don't want to add like too much product over and over again, otherwise it's going to get really muddy and weird. So I'm just very lightly working on it. So let me go ahead and even up this other eye real quick. Okay, so next I'm going to dip into the matte yellow shade up here in Chanterelle with this small little Morphe blending brush, small little Morphe blending brush. This is the Morphe M506 and I'm just going to take a little bit of this and focus it on the very top of like the upper crease brow bone area just to add a tiny bit of that yellow color in there. I think that'll complement the green very well. Pretty. 
And then real quickly going back in with that Real Techniques brush, not adding any extra product, but just making sure that everything is blending into each other. And if you feel like the green on the lid, it has dimmed out a little bit, has faded, just go ahead and pack some more on there. Okay, so now that I have that where I want it, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go into this evergreen shade right here, just with my finger, and I'm gonna put that all over the lid and start blending it out. This is a really, really pretty green color. Very pretty, very reflective. going in with that Real Techniques brush, no product added, and just slowly fading out that shimmery shade. Then on the other eye here, I will say this shade does feel a little dry in the pan it is pay it has a really good color payoff and it is really beautiful but just sticking my finger in the pan it does have a little bit of a drier feeling to it but i'm not really experiencing any fallout or anything like that so i'm not too concerned with it Pretty. Okay, here comes the best part. I just love how easy that makes it for me. Obsessed with this tape. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hop off camera and put on my face makeup. And then when we come back, I want to do the lower lash line using some of these red shades. I think that'll be really pretty. I will throw one of these super shock shadows in the inner corner. We'll do some gloss and we'll do a little bit of liner. So let me be right back. I'm going to go do my face. Okay, we're back. Face is on. Let's move on to the lower lash line. What I want to do is go in with some of these more red shades. I think that'll be really pretty. So I'm going to go into this top red shade here in Rainier. This is a really pretty deeper, more burgundy red. And I'm going to take that on this Dose of Colors pencil brush and I'm going to run that all along my lower lash line. <laughs> And then I'm going to blend that out with this BH Cosmetics number no. six brush going into this top shade here in Chanterelle. Pretty, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly what I was wanting here. Okay, so now what I want to do is I'm going to take this Super Shock Shadow in the shade Campfire. This is the more bronzy shade. And I'm going to go in with that Dose of Colors pencil brush and put it just kind of in the middle of the lower lash line here. I just think a little bit of shimmer down there will be really, really pretty. So just going right into this guy here. Now, I do think the Super Shocks perform best with your fingers, but for how I'm using it right now, this pencil brush will work just fine. And what I want is just right in the middle here. I'll just add a little bit of that glitter. Actually, let's just do the whole thing. Why not? So pretty. I'm not sure if the camera is fully picking that up, but it just adds a really nice, smoky, shimmery, almost a little bit more editorial look to it. So now what I want to do is I want to use one of these liners. 
I'm going to take this yellow one here in marigold and just line the bottom waterline. I think this is such a pretty shade. So insanely pigmented. I mean, it just glides right on. These ColourPop gel liners are great. Okay, okay. Let me throw on some mascara real quick. Okay, mascara on. I just went in with this Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara. I'm trying to use it up. I don't love it. I don't hate it, but I want to go through the whole tube. So let's move on to lips. I'm going to real quickly line my lips with this Koki Professionals Nude Lip Liner. let's go in with the glosses. I think actually I want to go in with both of the glosses. So first I'm going to go in with this one here in Wildflower, which is the pale neutral pinky nude gloss. Whew. Ooh, it smells really good. Has a nice fruity scent. Pretty. It is a thick gloss, definitely a really thick gloss. Like I said, I'm not sure if I've actually used the Luxe Gloss formula before, so I can't really speak on how well it lasts, if it is stringy or not, but let me go ahead and put on this one here in Glacier over the top. Now this is the more sparkly, uh, this is the more sparkly one. Of course, I ruined the wands to everything. Pretty. I really like the way these glosses smell. They feel really nice. It is a thicker gloss. Not super sticky. I'm not getting those big lines through my lips. Cute. Okay. Oh, I forgot to do an inner corner. Let's do an inner corner real quick. I want to go in with this shade like a moss. I just think this is the most beautiful shade and I think this will look really good on the inner corner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a different pencil brush here, a clean one. This is just from BH Cosmetics. Get right into this and pop that on the inner corner here. Oh yeah. So pretty, so reflective, almost has a little bit of like a lime. You can see here in the corner how reflective that is compared to this one. Almost like a lime tinge to it. Wow. My hair's a mess. What's new? I am really, really feeling this look today. It's so pretty. Let's quickly go over all of the products. So first we have the eyeshadow palette here. I really liked the palette. ColourPop eyeshadows tend to all perform very well. Not a lot of fallout. Was blending out really nicely. That green did get a little bit patchy as I was blending it, but it quickly, you know, worked itself out. I blended it out really nicely. I think it looks really pretty. The shimmers are really pretty. I love the Super Shock shadows. Like I said, one of my favorite products from ColourPop. Even if you don't get the ones in this collection, I recommend trying just the Super Shock formula in general. The eyeliner, super pigmented, really pretty, and the glosses I like as well. So that is everything from the Raw Beauty Christie at For Sight collection. I love this look that I did today. I can't stop looking at myself in the monitor because I just look so pretty and green and sexy and sultry and smoky, all my favorite things in an eyeshadow look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought about this collection. Let me know how you've been feeling about ColourPop lately. Thank you guys again so much. Don't forget to give a thumbs up to this video if you liked it and subscribe to my channel. I post here every Tuesday and Friday. So thanks again and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!